In the Pacific Northwest region of Canada and the United States, a new crop is emerging. Wasabi. Historically grown in Japan, this cash crop industry has spread to Southeast Asia, New Zealand, China, and more recently, North America. In nature, it is found growing in shaded riverbanks, where cool mountain streams provide a steady water and nutrient supply. The specialized growing environment has given it the reputation of being one of the hardest crops to grow, and as such fetches a hefty price in the market, ranging from 150 to 250 US dollars. While the leaves are often utilized in salads and soups, the rhizome is the most prized part of the plant. It takes 15 to 18 months for the rhizome to reach the marketable size of 100 grams, which is only a fraction of the plant's entire mass. Traditionally, shark skin was used to grate the rhizome, but now synthetic material is more common. Most wasabi served at sushi restaurants is flavored in dyed horseradish. Once grated over your dish, the heat lasts only 10 to 15 minutes before it disappears. That is how you can tell you have the real thing. Growing this plant has many challenges, each of which is a new hurdle for the young industry here. Some pests thrive in the humid growing environment, such as slugs, but some, like aphids, are less obvious in that they suck the juices from both the hidden root system and the exposed leaves. However, these pests are not the main concern of growers. There are far bigger issues to worry about. The overhead misters that many growers employ flood the wasabi houses with fine droplets of water. On hot days, each misting can be minutes apart. This continuous humidity combined with the optimal temperatures create the perfect environment for destructive diseases such as fungi to wreak havoc on the crop. Fungal pathogens can wipe out entire crops. Some, such as Colletoxicum, have never been seen on wasabi before. The spores of this fungus cause a sickly disease known as anthracnose and quickly spread throughout a planting. Others have been seen in other parts of the world. The fungus like albugo, also known as white blister rust, is only seen twice a year on wasabi, spring and fall. This common disease silently enters production ranges and builds spore masses ready to spread throughout. Shepherd's purse is a common weed found worldwide and is known to be susceptible to albugo. When infected, the spore masses and white blisters can be readily seen on the stems of the plant. It grows well in many environments, and when in close proximity to a wasabi crop, could be the source of this pathogen, on which can cause much more sinister symptoms. On wasabi, the leaves transform, producing unsightly growths that drip with black ooze, and white spore masses that spread at the slightest touch. This disease rapidly spreads throughout a crop if it is not controlled. To combat these issues, the first line of defense is often chemical fungicides. However, if we are able to change the growing system to make it less appealing to pathogens, we may not have to rely on them. The future of this young crop is in the hands of researchers and the pioneer growers right now. If we are able to solve these problems, wasabi could become an important crop in the Pacific Northwest, but only time will tell.